Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. My name is Kaylee, it's nice to see you all again. Today we're gonna be doing another One Piece unboxing. We already did Luffy, we already did Zoro. The last one we did was Sanji. Our next character we will be unboxing today. We have Yamato Chan. This new Yamato figurine is a part of the same brand and also she's a part of the same series, the SH Figurette series for One Piece as well. Uh, speaking of which, we also have Luffy with us today as well because with this SH Figurette series, each character comes with a Luffy face. So we will take a look at that later. So let's check out this new Yamato figurine. So, so far from what I can tell, she looks exactly like the design from the anime. Also, this was released sometime in December, December 23rd of 2023. Very new actually, very new figurine. She's taller. <laughs> Why am I making a big deal about that? Well, because in the anime and also in the manga, in the One Piece story, Yamato is indeed taller than Luffy. Uh, they are indeed taller than Zoro. They are indeed taller than Sanji too. So I think it's really interesting so far. Her figurine is definitely a lot taller than the other ones that I've done. Taking a look a little bit more too, there is a lot of accessories here. A lot of different faces for Yamato. We have a lot of different items here. I'm really excited to open this one. I think this will be a lot of fun. Although I am a little scared because all the previous videos I've done for the unboxings have been fun, but also very dangerous because I'm very scared I'm gonna lose some of these items, honestly. So another thing as well, when she was first released, Yamato's figurine cost about 9,900 yen. But at the moment now, her cost at Tokyo stores, especially in Akihabara, she is roughly around between 11,000 yen to 13,800 yen at the moment. So depending on the store you go to, you might get a cheaper one, you might get a more expensive one, but we will discuss that later as well. So how about we get started? Let's open up Yamato-chan now, okay? Okay, got it. All right, so, ooh, okay. So far, I really like her design. Her design is really neat, and I really do like the fact that her her side boob isn't over-exaggerated, unlike the anime. In my opinion. Yeah, so this is her figurine right here. As you can see, a little bit more of a close-up. So from what I can tell so far, Far, she has four types of faces, four kinds of replacement wrists, like the hands right here. She has her mace as well. She also has the Luffy face right here as well. So this is going to be the next face of Luffy. If you look behind here, uh, it's kind of clear, so you can't really see it. I'll take it out later, but she has like a pedestal set over here as well. So this will be great to use because with my last experiences with the figurine sets, it was very difficult for me to really, maybe not so difficult, but it was a little bit tricky to stand up some of the characters, especially in some of the positions I had them in. She looks absolutely gorgeous in this, so I'm really excited. Let us free her <laughs> from this plastic really quick. There she is, how cool is she? Honestly, that's so neat. And we will release that. We'll take off the plastic for now, but look how cool she is. This is so cool. I'm like playing around with like her skirt and everything too. Ah, this is so, this feels so realistic. It's like, it kind of flows out a little bit, which is really nice, it's really cool. Uh, you can kind of see her thigh too. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. So it's like, you can kind of like just open her skirt like that. I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a closer look. So this is actually pretty nice so far. It's a really good figurine. It's a cool design and it's probably the most complicated design, honestly. Look at all these details about her. She's just so like accurate and like her hair too. Like, cause she has like a different style, like texture of hair as well. They did such a great job. Like this is a really cool figurine. It's probably one of Yamato's, no, it's not Yamato's first figurine, but it's still really cool. 
And the fact that like her clothes are like so flexible too. Like look, it looks like little wings, honestly. Ooh, her feet too. Oh my god. Ah! That's so cool actually, her feet. If you look closely like at her feet, right? Like right here. Like they don't attach. They're not like a part of her foot. Like the shoes aren't a part of her foot. It's basically like you can just like do that. That's really cool actually. That's so... Oh my god, they did such a good job. This is like... So I know I say literally whenever I do a new figurine, it's like one of my favorite ones, of course. But oh my god, they like put so much detail into Yamato's figurine. It's really neat. It's actually really cool. Yeah, I think out of all the figurines from the Bandai SHF figurettes from One Piece, she's definitely the most flexible one. Probably like the least complicated so far. So I'm gonna try to do, for the first one, I'm gonna try to do her main stance right here. This one at the moment. We're gonna try to do that one. This is like her battle pose, kind of like, hey, how you doing with her mace, mace, axe, mace, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> I think her skirt is flo- Oh, that's why it's so flexible. That's why. Ah, good job, Kaylee. You're so smart. Okay, so that's why it's so flexible. Because it's like, if she's battling, her skirt's going to flow. That makes- Holy God, that makes more sense, actually. <laughs> but that's still really cool, too. So she is right handless, or just no hand. She has no hand right now, because you can take it off easily. That's why. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So the reason why she has more hands here is because she keeps holding the mace in different like, like different like um, hand positions. So it kind of depends on how she's holding it. And I'll, I'll show you guys later. But it's, a, it's another important detail, especially to this character. But how do you put it on her? <gasps> no way, okay, okay. That's really cool actually. So. There's a point, so there's like this little ring, you take it off. I was like, how do you put it in your hand? And then you do something like this. And then you kind of slip it in there. Okay, I finally did it. Oh my god, that took like two hours to do. <laughs> so, one thing about the Yamato figurine, when you attach the hands to her wrist, they are a little bit, um, thinner than the other figurines. So you do have to be really careful with that. They don't break, but it will take you some time. You just kind of have to click it in there. So I'm so happy we did that. I'm so happy we figured it out. So let me show you what I mean. So you take the maze, you put it in here, right? Do something like that. Everyone see, now the mace is like not going to leave her hand. Yeah, because it's already basically attached. It's like basically trapped in there now, see? Now we just have to pop out her face really quick. Now let's pop in her new face. Let's put a smile on that face. I think I did it. Ah, I'm so sorry! So the first look was going to be this one right here. Really good stance. I really like how it's easy to stand up as well. But yeah, this is Yamato's uh, little stance right here. Really good design so far. So the next position, I was gonna do uh, ooh, this position where she's holding the mace really tightly. So I do have to change her face again. This one, this will be the face. So, oh, and we also have to change her hands too. So I think this hand, her holding hand is good. We just have to change the other hand really quick. Okay, oh my god. I need to fix this out, fix, figure this out. Oh my god. Where'd it go? <gasps> <sighs> Ayamato, why? You were so good! Why are you being so difficult? My god. This is definitely like a challenge. It's like a challenging figurine. For a character who has like one of the best designs too. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I I'm not gonna do the pose. I'm gonna do something else instead. Um, I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm not fine. This is so, oh my god, this is so difficult. Oh, I apologize, Zoro. You are definitely the most easy. You are 10 times easier than Yamato right now. 
Oh my god, I give up, honestly. I can't. I can't with the hands. I can't. I can't. No. You can't make me. Okay. I'm switching it. We're switching the position. No more of the hammer, okay? You know what? I'm gonna call it a hammer. You wanna know why? I know it's a mace. If you're gonna be uncooperative, you're gonna be called a hammer, okay? Hammer, axe, sword, anything but a mace. See? Still being difficult. Oh my god. Wait, what do I do with it? Where'd it go? Oh, well, what do you know? We finally found the donuts. <laughs> it only took like 20 minutes to realize that this thing was over there. But we are going to now put this away and probably never play with this thing again. No, I'm just kidding. No, we'll put it away for now. I don't know why the mace and the donut are being a little bit difficult to manage. It kind of like just pops off really easily, which I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of, honestly. I wish it was just easier, like how I wish Yamato's hands were easier to pop on her arm. So let's put that away. I'm going to just change Yamato's um, face, I, I I just, I can't do with the fist anymore, honestly. It's just like, I've already gotten like so many scratches on my hand, trying to literally pop her hand into her arm. <laughs> so let's just change her hands really quick. I'm gonna change it to like these. Okay, let's pop that one in. <gasps> Look how easy that was. Oh my God, that was just so easy. Are we gonna be lucky with the other one? <gasps> what? so much easier so i want to change her position or her expressions to a more happier one with the luffy face this one is a little bit happier so let's change her position to a more happier expression okay yeah now her expression is a little bit more neutral now which is completely fine honestly for yamato's character so i'll give you guys a closer look at this one kind of like want to show you how flexible she is too I don't know what kind of like, it's kind of like a hands position, but I want to show her flexibility a little bit more. Here's her position right now. I don't even know what position she's doing, but uh, let me show that to you one really quick. This is literally me right now when I was trying to like just fix her hands and put in different hands of like all the four sets here. I'm like, oh my God, honestly. Yeah, I hope you understand my pain, you, you. She's so pretty though. I really like the design, honestly. <laughs> we got the Luffy face, but we also need the Luffy. So let's take him out. Let's take him out again. We'll see how he looks compared to Yameto. So this is the Luffy face figurine right here. This is Luffy. He's like so happy. He looks like I don't know, he just like looks like he's just having like a good time. That's his like very like she 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 face kind of, you know, so it's very cute. I really like it a lot. And it really just kind of you know, it works with um Yameto's character too, because they do have fun together, which is nice. Okay, so I wanna change Yamato's face and position just to kind of fit more of Luffy's current personality right now. So there's like these hands right here, if you can see very clearly. No! But she has hands that look like this, kind of. Kind of like in like a praying like, Oh, please take me out to sea with you. I would love to go on the adventure. Oh my God! You know, kind of look. So let's just pop these babies out. The easiest ones. Okay, come on. Ooh, did you hear that click? I'm so happy. Look how gorgeous that is! Ta-da! Look how nice she looks with like her hands like this. It looks so cute. Oh my god, that was like probably the easiest one that I did. <gasps> okay, Yameto is definitely bigger than Luffy. That's actually hysterical that they got the height comparison correct on this one. It's so canon, honestly. If you had these two figurines together side by side, that would be really cool because at least you have the actual size it's nice that this series does like the actual height of these characters. It just feels like it's like coming out of the pages itself, these figurines. So I'm really happy about them. Okay, everyone. So that concludes our unboxing for Yamato. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I personally, I enjoyed it. I did. I did enjoy it. But the hands 
and the mace were probably the hardest items in this set right here. But overall, I really do like the design. I think her whole design, her the height as well, it's just a very easy figurine, in my opinion, to at least place. If you want to place it on like your desk or on your table, it works well next to your other figurines too. And she's a part of the One Piece HS figurette set as well. So I think she's just a great addition to have. She's probably not the easiest to put together. But then again, I just might be a little bit... I'm, I think I just made this whole situation harder for me. It might be easy for other people though, so please let me know. Also, another thing, please let me know, what is your favorite moment of Yamettos from uh, One Piece? What's your favorite Yameto moment? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much again for visiting. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Sayonara, adios, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye!